Hey, this is Smorton from Designers Philosophy. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to make custom page templates inside child themes of the 2010 theme. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because this process has changed ever so slightly with the release of WordPress 3.1, and I'll explain that a little later. Making a custom page template is still the same process. You simply find your page.php file, copy it, and paste it in, and then give it a new name. I'll call this custom page. PHP, and then we open it in an editor. Here, all I have to do is, well, I'll do some cleaning first. I'll just take out this entire comment. And then at the very top, I'll add a new PHP delimiter, end it, and then I'll add a comment. So forward slash star template name colon and give it a name. In this case, I want to make a custom page template that doesn't have the headline on it. So I'm going to call it page without headline and end my comments. If I now save this file and upload it to my server and I go to my page editor in the drop down under template, I'll now have a new option called page without headline. But here's the problem. In the old version of 2010, all the loop information was inside the page.php file. What I mean by the loop information is all the code that went into WordPress and called out all the information and put it in the page. So for instance, get the actual headline, get the content and all that stuff. But in the new version of 2010, that content has been moved into a new file called looppage.php. And you can see it's being called down here, get template part loop. So if I want to make a change to that content, I need to get a hold of that information first. Now there's an easy way and a right way to do this. The simple way is to go to the 2010 theme, open looppage.php, copy out all this content, go back to my custom page.php file, highlight the call that actually calls the template part, and just paste in the other code instead. Now I said this is the easy way, but it isn't the right way. There's a cleaner way of doing this, and that's what I want you to do. So I'm just going to undo what I just did, save it, now instead, I'm going to make a new version of loop page, copy it over into my child of 2010 theme, and I'll open it. And here I'm going to use what's called a conditional statement that checks what template is being used and then makes changes according to which template it is. You can already see one conditional statement here. It's if is front page, and it changes whether or not the headline is going to be an H2 or an H1. What I'm going to do is wrap that in another conditional statement that checks for which page template we're using. So I'm simply going to go down here on that line, make a new line, and say PHP delimiter, if, and then we're going to check for the actual page template. That function is called is underscore page underscore template, and then bracket. And then inside there, I'll say the actual name of the file, which is custom page.php. I'll end my parentheses and then put a bracket. And then I close the PHP delimiter. Now I just have to put an end to this so that the bracket wraps at the end of what I want to change. So I'll go down here at the end of what I want to change. And I'll go again, question mark PHP. And I'll just end the bracket and end it. Now what happens is the theme will go, is this the page template called custom page? And if so, run all this content. But that's not actually what I want. I wanted to say, if it's not page template custom page. All I have to do then is go to the front of is page template and simply put in an exclamation point. In PHP, exclamation point means not. So what happens now is when WordPress is using the custom page.php file to display content, it'll go down here and say, if this isn't the custom page.php file, I'm going to display the header. But if it is, I'm simply going to ignore it and just display the rest of the content. So now all we have to do is save this new loop page.php file, upload both files to your server, and you'll have a page template that doesn't display the headline. If you want more tutorials like this, or if you just want to learn more about WordPress in general, you can go to designersphilosophy.com.